Hi, I'm James Schillinglaw and I'm here in Madrid once again and this is a marvelous destination that I just discovered this year, which is really embarrassing to say. I'm here with Hector Cordonel, who is the Director of Tourism for Madrid. And we're here to talk about really the ascendancy of Madrid as a tourism destination. Uh, there's a lot more hotels here, a lot more going on, and of course the famous things like the Prado, incredible art galleries, incredible walking city. We're going to talk about all that and more on Insider Travel Report. Well, Hector, as I told you, um, first of all, thank you. It's, it's great to be here with you in your wonderful city. Uh, thank you, Jens. It's great to have you here for the second time in a few weeks. Yeah, no, so, I'm just, I'll be back. <laughs> careful, I may come back a third time soon. No, <laughs> I, I will be the, the last, I'm sure. Talk a little bit about what's happening here, because we're, we're actually standing in front of the new Rosewood Villa Magnet, which just opened last month, and there's new hotels opening all over the place. Talk a little bit about that, because that's really contributing to the ascendancy of Madrid as a tourist tourism destination, right? Yeah, actually Madrid is a great, great city that has uh, a lot of things to, to discover, no? And, and this great company is the super brands, so total super brands that are coming to Madrid. So Rosewood, Four Seasons, Rosewood. W. Mandarin, JW Mario, the edition uh, that is coming to for, for next spring. Uh, uh, all these great properties and all these great brands are coming to Madrid because Madrid has a lot to do, has a lot to see and a lot to, to show. Uh, so the, the great experience that the visitors are going to, to see it to feel uh, is because Madrid is uh, uh, the lifestyle of Madrid is, is a lively city and it's, uh, I mean, have everything to do everything to do that's why maybe we haven't seen we haven't been uh, such a, a specific um Way well, to, to you, promote. Well, you were a capital city, and I know my my feeling about Madrid is is a big city, but the problem is it's not. It's a small city, living in a big city, if you will, because it's incredibly easy to get around with a walking. Right. Exactly. Exactly. It's very comfortable just to walk around and to reach every corner, in, 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 almost every important corner in the city. No, um, and. During the, all this time, during the pandemic, we took advantage to rethink how we're going to promote Madrid. Madrid is seen probably as the capital city of Spain, and that's probably because uh, most of the people consider Madrid as a business destination. Mm -hmm. And we want to convert Madrid into a leisure destination. That's very important because you need to spend maybe five, six days to see at least the, the, the most important things in, in Madrid, like the Prado Museum. Well, we're talking about that. The attractions are immense. And in fact, I, I barely scratched the surface. I finally got to the Prado this time, but I didn't get to uh, the Re Reina, the, the other museum which has all the modern art. And there's so many more museums, so many more attractions uh, that you can spend five, four or five days here, right? Absolutely. Uh, not only in Madrid, but around Madrid, we have another four uh, different towns that are, are uh, uh, part of the World Heritage. Sites. So what are those? Alcalá de Henares, for instance, El, El Escorial, or Aranjuez are some great destinations inside uh, Madrid, not going out of the region of Madrid. So you have to at least one week no, to, to see all of that. Well, absolutely. And also you have, we're actually standing on an avenue that was is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, right? Yeah, well, this, that was great, no, last summer that we were appointed, no, with the Paisaje de la Luz, no. The, it's a... Uh, uh, a, a story, you know, uh, to to merge all this Prado Museum with the Retiro Park, which is one of the uh, oldest in Europe. No, I mean uh, the green areas, very very important. Well, that's today. the thing we were talking about this with our guide the other day. Said Madrid is a really green city, right? It's a green city, and it's a uh, uh, very important. Not that. Even that we are a capital city, a big city, we consider a big city, but compared to Paris because, or compared to, to London, we are maybe small, no? but very affordable and, and very close no? to, to walk around and to get every part. Of yeah, the well, city. You know, interesting enough, you, know, you have these incredibly wide boulevards, we're standing on one, but you also have the, the older parts of the city with alleyways where you can go find all these tapas bars and places like that. You can go lose yourself in these places and, yeah. uh, and actually go and have your, uh, you know, the, the wonderful, uh, all the wonderful food. Tapas is amazing. And I, I really got to know it better. And it just, it only took a few minutes to walk around. Exactly. 
uh, if you come to Madrid, you cannot miss the Museo del Prado. But in the end, the best experience is to share with you, with your, with your people, with the uh, Madrileños, uh, after the Prado, having tapas in Madrid, <laughs> and, and share all this experience. You know, that and, and, and churros with chocolate, right? Sorry? Churros with chocolate. Yeah, well, churros <laughs> con chocolate and the bocadillo de calamares, eh? the, the calamari sandwich, yes, which is very, very the popular. Calamari, I just learned about the calamari sandwich yesterday from my guide, and he had already showed me the, the churros with the chocolate, but I didn't get to taste any, so I was a little bit, of, so I had to come back for that one. No, but very important that we are promoting Madrid in, with the main four pillars. That's uh, culture. We have the best culture in Europe, I mean, in terms of uh, the best museums like the Prado, Reina Sofia, or even the Thyssen, private collections that are uh, able to, to see. And also uh, musicals, uh, theaters, which is, are in Spanish, but of course, we are the main entrance to Europe from the Latin America, and this is why it's very, very important, the, the Spanish culture. Uh, and also heritage. Heritage, we have not only uh, Palace, but the Plaza Mayor, the, the, the main It's amazing. The Ma Plaza Mayor is amazing square. Yeah. It's one of the best in Europe and one is, uh, of the largest. And we have uh, different palaces uh, and the master artisans. This is another thing that we are, of course, the, the visitor to Madrid, uh, are shopping lovers and they come to Madrid also for, for shopping but we want to uh, enhance the, the, the artisans that ha have been uh, created all these luxury brands you know, that we have in, in Madrid of course and everywhere but here in Madrid we have centuries of uh, Martin art artisans that have been working you know, to uh, continue all this um, heritage, no, no, a material yeah, well, heritage. So you've got a, a lot of different reasons and I think you have new campaigns now that are just launching in the US, right? Yeah, um, actually the US market is very important. Today, uh, two days ago, I mean, uh, the international routes, long haul routes from Europe to Europe, now the Europeans are able to, to come into, right. into America. This is a great milestone in, in, in this situation because now the, the routes are going to be more profitable uh, and it's very important that not only the Americans can come to, to Europe but also the Europeans can go there. Uh, so we are launching again new campaigns in New York. We are uh, today in with a big campaign promoting Madrid. Uh, it's a digital campaign but we have also in, in different parts of the city that all the people in, in New York can see. And also in UK because UK now is not part of the European Union sure. uh, and shopping again one of the main oh, important yeah. things. Uh, this was a bunch of travel advisors and I was on a fam trip and they were very eager to do a little shopping in here and spend some okay. money. And, and now for people out of the uh, European Union and, and for the first time the, the people from UK are uh, able to, to refund the taxes so this is also important because now you can come to Madrid and have a great experience and spend the weekend for instance here at the Villa Magna and great a, a great shopping almost for free because the the tax refund that you oh, have that you are going to to get back so you can spend here in other experiences and one of the things you just said earlier was that it's so easy to get here Madrid is really a central hub uh, a lot of flights coming over here right now and you just op reopened the European flights uh, flights to the US but the reverse goes true now and you can get to Madrid very easily and I've done it before I mean that's one of the things is before I came to Madrid I, st I went through the airport as a connector and I never got out, which was a huge mistake as I've found out now, but it is really a uh, incredible city. Um, anything else you'd like to tell travel advisors are out there? We have 95,000 now, I think, uh, travel advisors, and they're eager to book their clients to new and interesting places, and this city is just, it seems to be reborn in my view. Uh, absolutely. I'm very proud to work currently for, for the tourism uh, of Madrid City. And I encourage the people to recover Madrid, to come to Madrid and to see everything. I mean, the gastronomy, we have not only Michelin star, but the tapas, the food markets are very important. And how easy is to get a conversation with the Madrileños, people from Madrid. So this is something that is also uh, part of the character of the, of, of the Madrid city. Uh, culture, we mentioned already, heritage. All these four pillars are very important. Uh, that, people are just coming to Madrid, but security, 
Right, it's, Sa not, it's a safe city. Not, not only in terms of uh, health and security, but also uh, you can walk around the city without any problem. And that's very, very important. Uh, the connectivity, not only in terms of flights that we are connecting from, uh, from and to every part of the world, but inside the city, we have one of the best metro stations and metro connectivity in, in, in the world. Uh, we export actually the metro in, in different countries, so you can move very, very easily uh, to every part. So this is well, you have a lot of high-speed rail in Spain that's amazing now, right? Uh, very easy. Of course, you can walk, and I recommend not to walk around. But in case you have to, uh, you want to 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 experience no, the 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 way that we move uh, and we are connected inside the city, uh, this is something uh, interesting for for the visitors. Um, I mean, for me, we would like to to consider Madrid in the same way and, and to put Madrid in the same conversation like London, Madrid, Paris, as it should be, Milan or, or Rome inside Europe, no, because uh, Madrid worth it and 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 we have plenty of opportunities and unique experiences that we are creating and we are inspiring uh, for all these new visitors that are coming to Madrid to uh, experience things that cannot, cannot experience in other, in other destinations in, in the world, not only in Europe but in the world. Well, you have a unique capital city. I hesitate to say the word capital. It is the capital, but it's so much more. And I, I've had a wonderful chance in the last two times, two visits now within the past few months. And I want to come back. I got to tell you, it, it is, uh, there's so, so many hotels coming up here, as we've talked about with the Rosewood Villa Magnum behind her. I've, been, I've stayed at the new Four Seasons. I visited the uh, the new uh, uh, the, the Ritz, which actually is uh, Mandarin Oriental, uh, but it's a lovely property. So there's, and there's more to come. So Hector, I want to thank you. Uh, it, it, you have a marvelous city. Uh, uh, you out there, really get your clients to come here. It's really uh, reborn, and you see the beautiful weather here. Yeah. Uh, and 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 uh, it really is one of those. It's one of the great cities of Europe, and really you need to be uh, all about it uh, uh, for the future. So thank you very much. Thank you, Jens. You will be always uh, very welcome in Madrid, and we're looking forward to welcoming all your uh, visitors and all your guests. Thank of course. You. I'm James Schillinglaw and this is Insider Travel Report.